mean, I'm not, I'm not interested in starting any kind of business. I don't need to, you know? Mm. You know, I don't know, but it just seems, <clears throat> I'm not saying all of them, but it just seems that a lot of foreigners come here with hope, the hopes and dreams of starting a business and it fails. They can't get it going, you know? If you are not a, a, a Filipino citizen and your plan is coming here to uh, have business, the, the business you are going to put to do is the one you already experience. So you know how to how to manage, how to start, how to. Yeah, but you know, from what I read. The profit's not there. That it's not it's not worthwhile. I mean, I'm not I'm saying for foreigners. I'm not saying for so the profit's just not there. People don't want to pay for things. And you know that as well as I do. That's why it's not it's not that easy. The only <clears throat> I think the only business of foreigners Here in Philippines, it's resorts. Yeah, resorts. Yeah. Mm. That and one other thing. Resort. Loan sharking. It's not the one I am watching in Ibasa. So they build their house near the their resort. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you see that, a lot of that. I think the main problem is, <clears throat> so a foreigner comes here, you know, he's with a uh, Philippine woman, married or whatever, or a Philippine man, married or whatever, that business has got to be in their name, you know? Yeah, if you're not, if you're not your resident, I believe, and I could be wrong, because I never checked into it because it doesn't interest me. It's got to have a work permit, you know? See, a lot of foreigners think as soon as they become a permanent resident, they can do this and they can do that. Nope. The only reason you, you get put, well, so you don't have to go anywhere in three years. You ain't got to leave and come back. You can just stay here, you know, mm -hmm. as long as you're married. But a lot of people think, oh, well, if I become a permanent resident, I can have, I can own a business, I can own land. Nope, you're not, you're, you're a permanent resident, not a citizen. <coughs> totally something totally different. I don't care what anybody says, man. Yeah, there is, there is probably loop, if you get a good lawyer, there is loopholes you can do, but going to cost you money. And believe me, you can ask any, any, any foreigner in the Philippines. When a foreigner wants to get something done in the Philippines, it costs them a lot of money. Am I wrong? You know? That's just the way it is. You gotta accept it and say, okay. People gotta remember, man, you're just a visitor. You know? You're just foreigners are just visitors. I mean uh, any foreigner that comes here that's on a pension. 
State, Social Security, or anything from the government, you don't want to give up your citizenship to whatever com country you're coming from. Because as soon as you do that, all that pension, it's gone. It stops. Even even military, U.S. military. If you get if you declare if you get Philippine citizenship, your military retirement is done. It's gone. It that's stops. Why, that's why there's a, this. They said you can get dual citizenship. I don't know, mom. I don't, I didn't want to bring that up because I don't I don't know anything about it. I know nothing about it. You know, and I see all the. Ho this is another argument I have. I see all the hoops that Philippine citizens gotta go through to get a visa to go to another country. Okay, if you say I, like me, for me, for instance, say I declare citizenship as far as for the Philippines, and all of a sudden I want to go back to the states because you still have, you still have family there. Yeah. What do you got to do to get be able to go to go there? Do you have to go through the same bullshit that a Philippine citizen has to go through? You're a Phil, you're, you're holding a Philippine passport. No, that's why you have uh, you you choose if you want to have dual citizen. I don't know anything about it. Neither do you. So let's not make shit up along. So that your 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 U.S. citizen you can use it when you go to. Do you know that? The mother of of her. I don't listen to other people's bullshit, Miles. I learned that real fast. If I don't read it in black and white, I don't believe anybody. I'm sorry, that's just where I am. Inquire or embassy. Why? Because I have no, I, I have no desire to do that. I just haven't get my well, I'll get my permanent resident, which in October I gotta. Right now, when you first get your, you're on probation for a year. Don't get in no trouble. Keep your nose clean. And then after a year, you apply for a permanent resident. And that's what I'm doing. I'm, I don't. I'm sorry. I just don't listen to other people. You know. In the stone. The people have the tendency to tell half truth. You know? That's just the way I feel, man. That's just the way I feel. It's not bad to ask. I didn't say there's anything it's wrong with you. I don't, no, no, no. I will, li I will listen to an immigra immigration officer before I listen to somebody out in the street. That's okay. what I said. You you ask your your US and the US embassy. Yeah. Like I said, I have that's no not and it's not bad to ask. I didn't. I know it's not bad. Then. But like I said, I have it's no. It's up to you if you listen. You know, let me finish. I have no desire for either. I'm just go with the permanent resident. All right. What? I don't know. I know. Yeah. I no desire to relinquish, relinquish my citizenship in the U.S. I have no desire to get a dual citizenship. I have to stick with the permanent resident. So if I, something goes down and I need to go, I'm gone. Okay. You, can, you can go. You like I said, a, my, dual, like I said. Dual like I said. Okay, like I said. I see Philippines, Philippine citizens, and uh, Philippines born in the Philippines, okay? And they try to get somewhere and they have to go through visas, try to get a visa, and I see all the hoops these people come through. They spend all this money, it's a flip of a, flip of a coin if they're going to get approved or not approved. I don't go looking for heartache. I don't go looking for drama, you know? Many Philippines already citizens in the U.S., but oh, they're also citizens here. So I understand that. Okay. Good for them. 
Muslims stay in the U.S. Yeah. Because the marriage. So if they want to go back to their place of origin, you can, they can go back I because they that. have. I understand. They have. They still the. Their citizenship is still. Up okay, to but what passport? What passport do they hold? They hold a U.S. or a Philippine passport. Uh, that that is the one that I cannot yeah. I, I cannot answer anymore. <laughs> now we're not maybe, arguing. Maybe we're just, I will ask the, the agency. We're debating. I will ask the agency. Bye, I'm not kidding, Miles. So don't even go down that road. I'm not kidding. I have no desire to get a dual citizenship. I'll stick to my permanent residence. Like I said, if anything ever goes down, I can hop on a plane. Look, we try to get you to the U.S. It was a pain in the ass. Yeah, some some political hack of sister and, and, and so I said if 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 the the Philippines get pain pain in the ass, Filipinos pain in the ass in you what said you that you said What are you talking about? I think you mixing my words up or you just don't understand what I said. Hey. I, in, I translate to English already. <laughs> you read? No, you didn't know. What did I say, Mom? No, what, like I said, like you said, pain, pain in the ass. <laughs> if the Filipino or... I never so, said Filipinos are no, pain in the ass. I just I said, am, I feel sorry for them because though, your average Philippine person is a hard working person. Your average, when you got your dark bags a little lazy and freeloaders, but your average Philippine person is hard working. Instead of that, no, okay, I'm gonna stop because I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna stop, man. Go ahead. No, I'm gonna stop. I will go with you. <laughs> I like the vape. You like the vape? Yeah, the vape. Oh, the vape. Oh, it's not a debate. <laughs> it's not I like a debate. debate. I'm just saying. Uh, I like, the U.S. picks and chooses the way they want to go. Yeah, excuse me. United States picks and chooses the plot. Go on video. Huh? I like go and choose. I like <laughs> the debate. United States. The of, of politics. The United the States. Of government. The regard of religion. The United States picks and chooses the winners and the losers. So I got this. No, oh, she's trying to press everybody on camera. How we usually do it is mild cold. Don't focus the camera. <laughs> it's fine. Mile, mile cook, I did a dish. I don't and like almost, right. almost every, almost, almost every night I'm doing a dish, so that tells you something right there. I don't like the camera when I'm doing something. Mm -hmm. Nah, we're not arguing, man. We're just having a civil conversation. <coughs> I am worried about that. The United States picks and chooses the winners and the losers. <coughs> you have some snot nose at the end of the deciding somebody's future. No, you can't come. Yes, you can come. Come back another time. No. Okay, when you try, when you try to get the visa, how much did it cost you? Do you know you have something to say? I don't know. What, visa or whatever? The application, all that other other stuff. How much it cost you? The visa is... Uh, I don't know. The one I know, the citizenship, I don't know. I didn't say the citizenship. I said the visa is from the United States, huh? 14,000 now. 14 or 40? 14,000. All right, that's... Visa 14. only. Just for the visa. How much did the uh, agency charge you? So you got your your average Philippine that wants to go to the United States, okay, to try to make life better for themselves, the possibility to go away for the husband. And you got some brute bureaucrat that's sitting in the embassy playing freaking God. I don't know why you as government need 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 visa. 
Other countries, they don't have this kind of especially also in Canada, where they open. I think we need to free to go to Canada. Free visa already. I think you need a visa to go to Canada. I don't, I'm not sure. I think you need a visa. Yeah, you need a visa, but I said free. Some political hack that's sitting in the end of the U.S. Embassy in Manila. Playing God. You think you got all this? And here's where you can point something to all this thing. Get some politicians' ass. And he's playing God with people, man. Huh? No, I don't think it's going to have everybody and anybody coming out of the state. Yeah, do some some kind of background check on the coaches. But if they're fine, they ain't worried about the damn sun in the morning no more. No. Yeah, I bet you all the ones are going to bring that up, didn't you? What? There you go. Religion. Wait, I don't talk about religion. Right. Yeah, I'm not gonna say I just don't like when people like to play God with people, other people. It bothers me. Yeah, do a background check, but they're fine, they're fine. Hey, you all let me know how you feel about that. At the U at the uh, how the US Embassy could pick and choose who they were let in the in a country and they got the southern borders wide open. You know why? Because most of your Filipinos take on a conservative way. That's probably why. Check out the outside. <coughs> a couple. It's what? 630, 639 p.m. Look how bright it is, man. But look at the sky. Right, Mark? Yeah, look at that sky. It's kind of clear, believe it or not. Right, Mark? y'all go and I'll talk to you again later you gonna say bye to your loyal fans <laughs> y'all be good to yourself be good to each other and don't stress the small stuff all right man I'll talk to you later bye for now